The idea for the new Fort Madison Middle School has been tossed around for years in the school district. According to assistant principal Bill Maupin, the previous middle school was built in 1922 and was worn out because of age. Everybody in town knew there needed to be a change. It would get up well over 100 degrees in the afternoon. And here, you know, it, it stays uh, in the mid-70s, and that's a lot better for learning. You can't put Band-Aids on it anymore. It's just um, dangerous. There's nothing more they can do. And, you know, we needed this. The new school has classrooms that nearly double the size of the old schools. Students find it easier to learn with the upgrades. There's a nicer cafeteria and gym in the classrooms. Superintendent Kenneth Morang spoke to all the visitors at the tour. Morang explained that the money did not come out of property taxes in Fort Madison, but rather through a penny tax around the entire state of Iowa until 2029. This got a positive response. We could do it this way, no increase in property tax. That's why everybody clapped when I did that, because we got a $20 million building for basically just one cent sales tax. Sarah Camp Overton is one of the architects who designed the building. She says the overall look of the building comes from both suggestions from the staff as well as influences from the town the school is in. The basic design shape kind of is uh, respectful of the river architecture in the area, so we were looking at some historical clues in the city of Fort Madison and developed the building around a tower, which also related to the barges on the river. According to Meringue, construction of another gym is still underway, as well as the addition of sidewalks on the surrounding streets. Jeff Monlock, KHQA News, Fort Madison.